Welcome to the Stellingborough site. Since the 1950s, we've been one of the leading producers of titanium dioxide chemicals and specialist products with over 4,000 employees working across five continents. Your safety here on site is important to us and starts with this induction, which will help you understand the risks and hazards you might encounter. There are questions to answer, designed to support your understanding. If you get any wrong, then you'll be able to try again or watch the video once more. But if you're unsure about anything, your site induction facilitator will be able to help. In the event of an emergency, there are several types of alarms that will be sounded across the site, and it's important that you're able to recognise what they mean. The major emergency alarm is a wailing siren that sounds like this. It's the signal to go to a refuge area immediately, and is tested each Tuesday at 9.30am. The incident alarm is a series of rapid pips on the tannoy system. This alarm may sound in conjunction with one of the other alarms and is associated with a minor incident where only localised plant areas are affected. A warning will be given via a tannoy message and flashing warning lights will be visible for the duration of the incident. A continuous siren warns you of a fire in a process plant. You should leave the area by the safest, nearest exit and go to the fire assembly point immediately. You might hear a local fire bell within buildings. The bell will sound like this. The research and development centre have their own system and this sounds like... If you hear either of these alarms, then leave the building by the safest, nearest exit and report immediately to your fire assembly point. If you hear the major emergency alarm, go immediately to the nearest refuge area. Remember, it's safer to go across rather than down the wind, so check the wind socks for the best direction to follow. Ensure you have your respirator with you. Alternatively, if you don't have one, there are stocks held at each refuge area. Once you arrive at the refuge area, register your card at the reader. If you have any difficulty, report to the marshal, who will be wearing an orange vest. If there's no one at the refuge area location, follow the instructions located in the refuge area. In the event of a fire, there are some basic rules to remember. On hearing the local fire alarm for your area, stop what you're doing and evacuate by the nearest safe exit, closing doors and windows if it's safe to do so, and report to your nearest fire assembly point. Alternatively, if you discover a fire, then raise the alarm and report this by dialing 3333 from any site telephone. The security officer at the gatehouse will answer and explain what to do. Whilst on the Stalingrad site, it is not permitted to use a mobile phone whilst walking, so if you need to use your phone, then stand still. Visitors and contractors should park their vehicles in designated car parks and report to the relevant gatehouse. The site follows similar signage to those used on public highways, so many of them will be familiar to you. They must be observed at all times, including the directional arrows, as there are one-way road systems in place. Site access for private or unmarked vehicles is restricted. However, if you need to drop off tools or materials, then a temporary pass will be issued. The pass is time sensitive and monitored closely by security. Anyone found on site with an invalid pass may be refused entry in the future. The UK Highway Code regulations apply here on site, so a mobile must never be used whilst driving and seat belts should always be worn. There's a mandatory 10 miles per hour speed restriction for all vehicles and Tronox conduct regular random speed checks throughout the site, so it's important you observe the limits at all times. Smoking is not allowed anywhere on site, apart from the smoking shelters provided. After you've completed this induction, you'll be issued with basic personal protection equipment, PPE, which includes a hard hat and protective glasses, a respirator and gloves. If you're visiting specific parts of the plant, then you'll need further PPE, and this will be explained during the full site induction. 
it's important you understand how to use the respirator, since in the unlikely event an incident does happen, it could save your life. Remove the unit from the hold all and place the mouthpiece in your mouth. Use the clip provided to secure your nose so you're only breathing through your mouth. At no point should you use the respirator for any other means than for safe muster to a refuge area during an incident. We place a high importance on the health and safety of anyone visiting or working at the Stalingrad site. And if you have reason to think anyone is being placed in jeopardy or the environment is being put at risk by work on the site, then you should tell your host. There are questions to answer to complete your induction. And once you've answered these correctly, please report back to the site induction facilitator. We'll issue you with your site pass. We hope you have a safe and productive visit to the Stalingrad site. Please click next 